and topology same as we do before or we want to increase the router we can increase the router also but for simplicity i am taking two only if you want we can take one more also like this and then we can do like we do for static route so i can do this way and then i can keep two to pc in each branch we can say we have the three branches we connected from the ISP by using the virtual lease LAN and we need to enable the routing. So we are using the OSPF here. So here I am connecting. So this is the configuration. This is a wiring how we connect and here to here it will work but here to here it will not work because this by default in this router you have only two interface. You don't have more than two interface here. So what I need to do I need to increase the ports here. So how I can increase go inside the router and switch off the router and you have the empty slot here. We can see which card is good for us. When you select the card here, you can see description will come here. So it is mentioning like model number and what we have in this one. We have two fast Ethernet. So we need this one only. So from here or from here where you selected, you can drag like this and drop or we can take from here also. So anyway, like this keep automatically it will connect and power on the router. But in real world, you will buy from the market or you will book from the Cisco. And then when, once it is arrived, you switch off the router and you insert that one. But here in the packet tracer, we can do that way. After that, when you connect, it will work. It will connect. So here we can say we have the three branches. We are connecting with the help of OSPF. We can say this is head office, this is branch office one, this is branch office two. So here I can give any name, we can give R1, R2, R3 or head office, branch office, we can give anything. I am putting here R1, R2, R3. So this is simple and here you have the switch <coughs> and here we have the PC. You can rename here, this is a SW1. Here what we can say, this is a SW2. And here I can say this is a SW3. And IP schema what we will use our wish we can use anything but I am putting here this IP. We can use different also no problem. In the real world you will have the IP plan so we will use whatever they configure they put in the IP plan. So that side we have the 2 well but here I am taking router number like 2 well dot 1 2 well dot 2 like this I am taking because this one I told R1, this is R2. So in between here, whatever link I am using 12.1 here, and this will be 12.2. And here, what I can say, I am using here 192.168.1.1 slash 24. So this LAN side, we can use that IP, this one. So gateway will be here. This IP will be the gateway. This F0 by 0, we will configure this. And here we can configure 192.168.1. 2.1 slash 24 and here this side we will use 192.168.3.1 slash 24 and here we can say this is 2 and this is 3 so we can say 23 so I can use here 192.168.23.1 slash 24 and then here I can say 192.168.23.2 slash 24 like this Okay, so this is the our IP schema IP plan what we are planning to assign here this one. And now what we can do means we can do the configuration and here IP whatever you are using here same subnet IP you need to configure here. So this one just I will put here the label. So we know that what IP we configure even if you did not put anything here no problem but I will put so it will be easy for us to and as I remember what IP we configure to which PC. And this way we configure and here I will go here I can say IP will be 1.3. I will copy I will go here and then I will paste here. Gateway will be 1.1 .1 here. Same thing here this is a 2.1 I already give here so 2.2 we can say this side we can use as a 2.2 so here will be 2.2 this is just label now we are assigning go inside go to desktop go to IP and press paste here and write here 2.1 like this 
and then go here and put here 2.3 and we can copy and we can paste here. Here we can write 2.1 and then we can go here. I can say here 3.1 so here we can write 3.2 we can go inside and we can assign here here will be 3.1 and same thing we will do here 3.3 .3. and I will copy and I will paste this here inside and this will be 3.1 so this is basic later we will use the DSCP so automatically our machine can get the IP. So this is okay we have here now we need to do the configuration. So this one I can write here like uh, OSPF or uh, OSPF configuration by using interface method. Here I can write R1 for configuration r1 configuration enable config t host name r1 and then interface we have f0 by 1 this interface i am taking f0 by 1 i will write here ip address 192.168.12.1 give space 255.255.255.0 i will write here no shirt then you have another interface ip address I can write 192.168.1.1 1 .1, give space 255.255.255.0. I will write here no shirt. Then we will write router OSPF1. If you want to define router ID, we can define, or if you don't want, no problem, we can write interface F0 by 1 because I need to enable the OSPF under this interface, under this interface. So just type like this and go under that one. When you press enter, you will go under that interface, write IP. OSPF 1 area 0. So here you are using 1, so here also you should use 1. So router OSPF 1 interface F0 by 1 IP OSPF 1 area 0. And then you have another interface, so you will write interface F0 by 0 and write here IP OSPF 1 area 0. If you want to define router ID, you can define also like this. Even if you did not define, it will work. So I can say example, I will give router ID as a 1.1.1. Like this, I can give anything here. Even if you did not write, automatically router will take. Okay, so this is a OSPF configuration in R1 by using interface method. We have here how many interface? Only two interface. If you have more interface, we will enable here. But now we have only two interface. So let me copy this. Let me go here inside this router R1. And here I will write here no and we can paste the configuration. I will paste the configuration here and we can see here what we are getting any error or anything, nothing is coming here. So I can save this configuration and we can use this one. Let me go to the second router configuration. Here we can enable the R2 configuration. We can do the R2 configuration. I will write here <coughs> R2 configuration. <coughs> enable config t host name r2 we can say r2 and then interface you have here three interface here one interface is f0 by 1 so i will write here ip address what ip we are using 12.2 so 192.168.12.2 give space 255.255.255.0 and write no shirt then you have another interface f1 slash 0 this one I am saying F1 slash 0 and we can assign the IP IP address 192.168.23.1 give space 255.255.255.0 and we will write no shirt. Then we have another interface. This one F0 by 0. So I can write here F0 by 0 IP address. We have 192.168.2.1 give space 255.255.255.0. We will write no shirt. So these are the three interface we have in the head of branch office. We can say in the branch office we have the three interface. We need to advertise this all three interface in OSPF. So I will write router OSPF one router ID. I can do here only. So I will write router dash ID and we should have the unique ID. We should not use the same ID what we configure. So I am using here 2.2.2. .2 .2. 
then after that i can write interface here f0 by 1 and then ipospf of 1 area 0 we are using area 0 he here or i can draw like this in this whole topology this whole topology we are using area 0 only later we will do multi area also but now we can say here we are using the area 0 <coughs> this one this all or let me move this topology from here to here and i can say here this whole topology is a area zero okay so here i can write like somewhere here area zero we are using and i can zoom now so where we are, we are in the R2. So we enable the OSPF to this interface F0 by 1. Now I need to do the other interface. So what I will do, I will write here interface F1 slash 0. I will write here IP OSPF 1 area 0. Then you have interface F0 by 0, IP OSPF 1 area 0. And I will divide the notepad here. So see here this interface, this interface, this interface, we enable the OSPF and here we define the router ID. Now we can copy and paste this in the R2. So I will go to the R2 here. Let me go to the R2 here. This is a R2 router. I will write here no and we will paste the configuration here. I will paste the configuration. Let me see. You can see everything is good here. We can save the configuration here. I will write WR. <laughs> to save the configuration <coughs> and then after that what we can say we can do the r3 configuration here so let me go here and do the r3 configuration so here i will write r3 configuration enable config t host name r3 and then interface f0 by 1 i can assign ip address whatever we have here 23.2 so i will write here 192.168.23.2 give space to 55.255.0 and we can write no shared then you have another interface f0 by 0 write ip address 192.168.3.1 give space to 55.255.255.0 we will write no shared and we will write router ospf1 router id we will use 3.3.3.3 .3 and we can write interface F0 by 1 IP OSPF, IP OSPF 1 area 0 and then interface F0 by 0 I will write here IP OSPF 1 area 0 that's all we have only two interface so this one we done now let me copy and paste here I will go to this router and we will paste here. I will write here no and then we can paste the configuration and we can check any error, nothing. Everything is good. We can save the configuration. <coughs> so after that you can ping and check reachability will be there. So I can do now. Let me make this screen small. I think. Okay, so now I will go here in the command prompt. I am here. I will write here ping. I want to check this one. So I will write here 192.168.2.2. So I am pinging from here to here. So I am in the head office. I am pinging one PC or accessing some resources which is present in the branch office one. So I am able to access that one. Okay, and then I want to do like ping. 192.168.2.3 so it is working or not this one i am pinging and let's see here yeah it is working here also if i want to check this one also we can check we can write here ping 192.168.3.2 and we can wait for some time and we can check it is working this one we can see yeah it is working ok 